everyone, Simon here. So I thought I'd do a Kirby story. We haven't had one for a while. And this one, um, I have a good memory of this, this story because it's quite funny. Now, when you guys are in bars in Thailand and you're, you're out for some entertainment, it's not a good idea to make bets with your friends and to broadcast to the bar how special you are, how big you are, how fantastic you are at everything. One evening, it must have been about 11 o'clock in the evening, I was in my bar, so we seven Patea. I was sat at the front talking to Frozen, my mama son. And it was quiet evening and the girls, quite often if it was quiet, we'd, we'd get a like a bucket um, and put some Thai whiskey in there and some ice and they'd have whiskey and soda or whiskey and water. A bit of a concoction, just to get the girls in a better mood and a bit more lively. And this evening, Apple was in the bar, Kirby was there, um, and there was, there was one other customer I seem to remember at the back of the bar, but three guys walked in. Um, it was quiet, it must have been probably end of the high season. Three guys, three Marines, American Marines walked in. All three guys were tall, big, you know, they're muscular, they were, they were typical big Marines. Um, one was uh, African American. Um, quite dark skin. The other two were uh, quite pale. Yeah, but all guys, you know, muscly guys. They came into the bar. They'd come down to seven bar hopping, and they they weren't really drunk, but they were quite loud. And they came in, ordered a drink, and the girls were a lot of girls in in Patera, promiscuous and naughty. They were quite often. You might have noticed. might have happened to you. The girls would come up and maybe pinch your bottom, but quite often they would grab your crutch just to see if you're well endowed or not. So they, they just, little games they'd play. But this, these three guys walked in and because it was quiet, Apple, Kirby were at the front, but all the girls went in for the sort of kill. Remember it well. Um, and they all grabbed these guys and it turned out they all pointed to the one um, pale skin marine with the blonde hair saying he's the biggest and all this and they were all having a laugh and the guys were loving it you know it was very funny <laughs> But yeah, they were all in party mood, the girls, they'd had this drink and they grabbed these guys and the guys were just loving it. The Kirby sort of stepped up and sort of went up a notch in uh, pushing herself on these guys, let's say. Now, the guys then ordered shots and they bought a couple of the girls some shots. Um, and I mean, they ordered like three shots each, and they were just necking them down. I mean, they're big guys, but it just, I thought, wow, oh, that's great for the bar, that's money. But that's it. But then this uh, one guy, let's call him Errol. He started saying to the other boys um, how great he was with women. And at this point, Frozen the Mammoth's hand stepped in, started asking him how good he was, and what he wanted she was on the sales pitch and he was going on how fantastic he is that no woman could resist him and the drink was talking frozen push kirby forward and then the boys are jeering him on you know they're sort of egging him on he then made the statement that you shouldn't make when you're drunk i can take this girl up the road and I will be coming back first and she won't be able to walk properly because she's had the best time of her life. I guarantee it. He said, I'll bet you money. Out came the money on the table. They put a hundred, I remember it, hundred dollar bills, each of them, bet that he 
would not be back before her, these two. And he said, no, I'll be back first. He was standing to win 200 bucks. You know, Kirby's like, <laughs> and Frozen and Kirby are start pushing. What about us? We want the tip. You know, we want some of this. And of course, these guys, they had a few drink, a few more shots. They put another hundred dollar bill on the table and said, that's for the girls, as in Kirby and Frozen, or the other girls I don't. If Kirby wins, that's it, bar fine. Kirby grabs Errol. And just round the corner, literally 200 meters was a couple of little short time rooms. Off they went. All the girls were on these two guys and the guys started buying drinks and they even rang the bell, which was brilliant. 30 minutes, everyone sort of partying around these two Marines and drinking, loving it. In walks Kirby on her own, looking as fresh as a daisy. And the place just erupted. Five minutes past, down the road comes the guy, Errol, with his tail between his legs, most embarrassed. Um, she had wiped the floor clean with him. He didn't stand a chance. He came in that bar, he'd lost face, embarrassment. Don't bet your friends when you're drunk that you can do Superman activities, especially with someone like Kirby or Apple. Those guys, they took his hundred dollars off him. The girls all got, they broke the money up if I remember rightly, but they all got loads of drinks and he paid Kirby and he paid the bar fine and that Errol had to pay the bin. And that was about three thousand, three and a half thousand back bin. They left the bar pretty quick where he was pushing to get out of the bar out of embarrassment. Kirby, they'd gone and Kirby said that he was hopeless. He was drunk. She just, instant easy win for her. And the girls all carried on drinking. And they'd had a great night. So, a little Kirby story, but she's sober. He was partially drunk, he had no chance. Doesn't matter how your physique is and everything. Some of these girls like Kirby are professionals. They know all the tricks in the book to empty the tanks. <laughs> there you go, just a little Kirby one. Live stream coming up more than likely tomorrow being Tuesday evening at about 7 UK time. I haven't finalised it yet, but it's looking like I'll be on, have a chat. We're going to talk about a, a subject, but again, I'm just going to clarify that subject before I announce it, but we will have a subject tomorrow. Hope you're having a great time. Hope the weather's great where you are in the UK. It's gorgeous. It's 30 degrees. Brilliant. Been waiting for summer. It's here. My motorcycle's gone. It's sold. If you saw my Facebook page, you'd have seen it's gone. Wife's happy, got the garden back. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.